everyone, Mary Emberson here. Um, so recently I got um, contacted, <laughs> can't think of the word then, contacted by a company called Let's Resin, who said they'd seen some of my alcohol ink videos and would I like to try some of theirs. Um, and I've got to be honest, I do get asked by a lot of people, which is really nice, um, and I'm very grateful, but I always say no. I say no to everyone because I always feel like, you know, can I do your product? Can I give it justice? Blah, blah, blah. And I, I don't like to feel pressured. I like to just do my own thing. As you know, I just, I flow on videos. I just sort of like, I'll start on something and then I'll flit around to something else. Um, but I thought, yeah, I love alcohol inks. So, yes, I will give it a go. Thank you very much. Now, not only did they send me 26 different alcohol inks. Look, I've already opened some over here. You can tell, look, I've got a right old mess. Um, because they come with a little thing that you have to pierce the top when to open them properly. Um, but there's all these ones as well. There's loads, loads and loads. And, well, there's 26. Um... <laughs> But they also sent me some UV resin, some moulds, this stuff called Alcohol Ink Sinker White, which just blew my mind because I went and had a look. Hang on, I've got a... I took a photo of this guy, Daniel Cooper. Go on YouTube. You're on YouTube already. Stay on YouTube and look up Daniel Cooper. What? an amazing guy he is playing with this stuff and this sink well, i didn't have a clue what it was it's fantastic um and he is brilliant and, and i've got to say i mean he's got such a nice calming voice and the way about it is just fantastic just give him a look up um but anyway so i'm not going to play with the resin and that at the moment because i've got lots of other things in the pipeline but I do want to have a little play with the alcohol ink. So I've picked out, as I say, some colours that I really, really like out of the 26. And I'm going to sort of rep... Look, I've sort of got some on there when I was flicking it, but I can use that with this. Um, I'm going to do a couple of different techniques with alcohol ink. So my one favourite one, I've done it a couple of times. I've done it on one of my sort of five-minute videos. Um, I've done it like on a, a longer video is using a embossing folder um, with my tin foil. This is just normal kitchen foil, okay? Um, and it's quite interesting because I have a lot of people, well, not a lot actually, sorry, that's a lie. I've had a few people say to me with this technique that it hasn't worked for them. The alcohol ink will not dry. Well, in the past I've used the Ranger alcohol inks so i let me just put this on here get a rough size i'm gonna try it with these alcohol inks and see if they dry on it like the other ones do so i'm just cutting it down a wee bit not loads because i want to um flick it round so if you've already seen this this um technique then Stay and play with me. It's fine. You don't have to, but it would be good if you did. Um, so what do I need? I need my little doodah and then I need, oh, look, see, I'm so not organised, honestly. Let's just open up my little tin and I need some little felt pads. It doesn't matter if I've used previous ones. Okay, let's just get that on there. I am going to put something similar on there. This one is cerulean. So I'm just going to do a few drops of that. It does say you should give them a really good shake, actually. So maybe I should do that. And then I'm just going to look at that colour. Isn't it beautiful? And then let's have a bit of, um, let's just go. This one's called, just called green. Oh, <laughs> even with my finger over it. It obviously wasn't over it properly, was it? Oh, honestly, I do get in a mess when I do alcohol inks. So as long as you don't like mind getting messy, it don't matter. 
So just give it a little twist as you're doing it. This is interesting, this foil. It was quite funny, actually, because me and my husband were in the supermarket the other day and he picked up the really cheap foil and I picked up the heavier duty, more expensive one. And he's like, mine will be just the same as yours. And I have to say, there's not a lot of difference apart from this has got like a, well, probably to make it, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a um, honeycomb. And I'm, I'm assuming that's to make it stronger, isn't it? But I'm hoping that will go away once I put it through the embossing folder. Oh, I didn't put a lot on there, did I? I'm being tight. <laughs> didn't even pay for it. <laughs> I'm still tight. Okay, let's just get that on. That's better. Look, I needed a bit more of the green as well, didn't I? So that's the thing with this. You can always go back and just keep adding. It really don't matter. So a bit more green. You can also sort of swipe it as well. You don't have to pounce. But I just want to see. And also, don't feel like you need to cover the whole thing. I pretty much have. And obviously, because I've done that again, I'm going to have to do a little bit more of the cerulean this color is just to die for it's beautiful now look this is this is where it's starting to blend with the other ones and I, this is what i love about alcohol inks because you ain't got a clue what's going to happen you really haven't you can try and control it but you just can't it's just wonderful look at it right let's just move these out of the way before i have a a nasty accident so i'm just gonna see might, yeah look see that's it might be a little bit damp still but i've, oh, <laughs> I've literally it's, it's a tiny little bit tacky at the moment um but i've had people say that they've gone back days later and just gone like that and it's just wiped off so I really don't know what they're doing. Um, I did say to one lady, send me a video in, if you can, of what you're doing. Gave her my email address and that. I haven't heard from her, but that's that's the only way I can have a look and see what you're doing compared to what I'm doing. Because I'd never tell you something works if it doesn't. That's not me. I just don't do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit sticky still at the moment, but it has, that hasn't been on there long, has it? Let's face it. Um, but yeah, anyway, right, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to move these over here because I want to bring my, um, oh, do you know what? Look, this is that sinker white, but I'm wondering, is it just a really nice white? Oh, that was a lot, Marion. Let's just do that. And then I need, have I got another, oh, I've uh -oh, got another bit, it's got a bit of blue on it, so we'll see. Oh, that's nice. You can do like a swirl. Swirl. No, that's probably going to take a bit longer. Oh, I don't know, that's... That's sort of like misted it out now, hasn't it? That's nice. Okay, so let me just take that off. I just want to move these. So I have got, I've got my big shot. I'm using one of the embossing pads from Spellbinders. Other companies do them. I'll, I'll try and find some links. Um, I've got my instructions because <laughs> I'm really rubbish at remembering. Because I want to do it with a stencil. So, big shot, shim for stencil embossing. Right, open to tab one. Have I got me tab thing? Oh, no, I haven't of me. Oh, that's over there. Um, right, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I, do you know what? I'll just try it. So, if you've got the normal standard platform, I'm just going to try it with this. Standard platform. Um, shim. So I'll probably try that. It might not work. B plate. Stencil. 
Let's have a look. Oh. Stencil. Then it's cardstock, but what I was meant to do was stick this down first. <laughs> I haven't attached it. Let me just quickly attach this. Let me move this out of the way. Hopefully you can, I'm still in camera shot. Probably, probably not. Let's have a look. Am I? Do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, just roughly. So I'm just going to go in and just put some do, 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 glue. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just put some glue on there. And then I'm just gonna stick that down. So I've got pretty pattern side, like colored side up. Fold these over. You can trim them off, but I like to just fold them. You could mitre the corners. I haven't done that very neatly. So I'll just give it a little chop, but it will be hidden. Um, behind the back of the card. Sorry, I'm, I'm probably out of camera shot there. And then just do those and take a little bit off of that one. Right, so where's my little thing? Cardstock. I think I'm gonna have too many plates on here. Cardstock tan mat. And another bead plate. I've got a feeling I'm not going to need that adapter shim. But we won't know till we try. Is it going to go through? Is it? Ick? <laughs> I didn't think it would. I normally do this with my other one that's got the tabs on it. Do you remember the old one that used to open by the tabs? Let's have a feel of this one. Yeah, see, this feels like it's going through too easy. So this probably needs a shim because I'm not going to, oh, is it or not? Oh, it has a little bit, but not a lot. So I feel, where did I say to put the shim? I covered my thing up. Shim at the bottom. Shim, shim, shim. Let's just put another piece of cardstock sort of in and around where the other bit was let's just see if that it's amazing a little thin piece of cardstock can make all that difference and then i can still use that bit of cardstock so let's have a look Oh, lovely. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I love making these. And it's dry. It is. It is dry. So that's stuff I've got on my hands. Right, that one's fairly clean. <laughs> so let's just have a look. Yep. I should have glued it down a little bit better. But also, all them little hexagons have gone now. Yeah. Oh, it's just so pretty. Right, let me just leave that there because I'm going to try something else as well. So I'll probably keep that bit there that was my shim. Um, where can I put this? D -d 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 and I've done this before on a video. So I'm sort of revisiting old things here but you know having a bit of fun so who remember oh sorry I just dropped my box oh it's all gonna fall off now okay so who remembers when I've done the wax paper resist with alcohol inks I've got to try and remember how to do it myself now because I think well, there's a couple of ways you can do it I think I've done it with an embossing folder before but i'm just wondering whether i can do it with the stencil as well so let me get, so this is just the cut right the reynolds wax paper um i don't know whether they sell it in the uk i will have a look i always pick it up when i'm in the states so i've always got some here 
So let me just get rid of that a minute. And then, I've got to try and remember how I've done it. If I just do this. So I want it to... I'm going to do a scrunched version. So basically, what's going to happen... Oh, look, I'm going to put my iron on. Let's just turn my iron on so it's on really hot. Um, I'm going to do a scrunched version. So scrunch it up, open it up, scrunch it again. And then I'm going to try and put it through that again, the one I've just done. So let me... Oh, and I'm going to try it on vellum as well this time. So just having a little experiment. So I'm going to do that. And then let's just bring this guy back in again. Oh, do you like all my sound effects? Oh, it's like, because I'm getting old. And it's like, you know, when you bend down now, you make all these noises as you get older. So all you youngsters watching, <laughs> you wait. <laughs> right, see, look, already I've forgotten how I've done it just now. Right, so shim. Okay, let's do me shim. Uh, oh no, shim B plate. So if I put that there, then me B plate, da, da, da. then me stencil, then me cardstock, then me tan mat, then me B plate. So I'm going to put it on here. Yeah. Right, this is where I'm, try I'm doing it completely different to how I did do it. So this is just an experiment. So there's me tan mat and then run it through. Basically, I want that pattern to come out on my... Um, and that's gone through really easily because it's going through on this, not on another piece of cardstock. So is that made... Any oomph? I want to get the pattern on there. Oh, what you don't want to do, Marion, is move it in the meantime. Because I feel that needs another shim. So let me just do another shim. Give it a little bit more oomph. Obviously, I could just walk over there and pick up my one that's got the the base plate that has the tabs on it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. That's sort of come out. Because even, even that just looks nice. I'm going to grab, grab those off. Put that there. That there, I'll clear all this up afterwards. I'm just going to put that. Oh, there we go. More noises. I wonder if I could have got that a little bit more oomphy. Anyway, we'll see. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to use alcohol inks, I'm going to try it on vellum. So I'm just going to put some paper I'm gonna I'll tell you what forgive me a minute and I'm not very well organized with this because I'm sort of doing it on the on the hop as usual right so I've got my vellum I'm gonna place that on the vellum like so and then I can bring this over right that's what I wanted to do so I wanted to cover that. Me iron. I think me iron's hot. Is it hot? I think I've still got a bit of wax on there from when I played with it before. Right, so I want to just transfer. Oh, see, I don't know. Do you know what? This ain't going to work, is it? Because <laughs> I'm just going to transfer the whole of the wax, aren't I? 
with this, I don't think I will. Oh, do you know what? If you don't try, you don't know, do you? It's a piece of vellum at the end of the day. Right. But it might still pick out the pattern. I don't really know. Hmm. No, I think what I've done is just put a load of wax on here. So I reckon I'm going to get nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's just move that out of the way. And let's go in. Where's my little block thing? Let's go in with some colours again. I'll use those same colours, I think. Where's that cerulean? Yeah, no, that's, that's done nothing, because it... <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. In my head, it worked. In my head, it was like, yes. So how did I do it with my embossing folder then? I'm going to have to go back and look at my own video because <laughs> I can't remember how I've done it. They, these are beautiful colours. Oh, <laughs> didn't even put the thing on. Beautiful colours. And I've got 26 to choose from. So I do like them. But it was just my technique didn't work. Or oh, do, you, do you know what? It's, I think it's because this didn't emboss enough, did it? It didn't go through enough. But hey ho. I wonder. See, even though just those colours are nice, aren't they? So let me just move that over there. Because if I was to do this now and see if I can take that wax off. Because that's the idea, isn't it? Is you take the wax back off. Let's have a look. No. All it's done is made me vellum curl. Interesting, because I can see bits on there. But never mind. Never mind. I've got all bits all over the place now. Let me just go in this way. Just flatten it back out again. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's just see. But then again, it could be because I'm doing it on vellum and not on glossy. So I'm going to try it again on vellum. And this time I'm doing the scrunch one. For this resist. I have just done a resist. Like a, um, oh, what's it called? The batik effect. But I've done it with, um, what do you call it? It's just normal winks uh i think i don't know if i used distress or Catherine polar i can't remember um and that came out really nice so let me just see look i'm already seeing the pattern coming through on here which is what it should do so what's happening it, it, in my head and didn't happen in the other one, is this is transferring that wax onto the, what you call it? See, look, even just that is love. Right, okay, there we go. I can see it on there now. So I've got bits of wax on there. So that, by rights, should resist my alcohol ink. That is just beautiful on its own. I wonder how many times you can use it. I wonder, can I now go like that with it and get another, get double whammy out of it? Never one to give up. If at first you don't succeed, fail the second time. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like 
like there is a little bit on there. So I might just... I wonder if there's wax on the other side. Give it a go, Marion. Give it a go. Right. That, I think I said in the previous video I've done, that is just crying out to be die cut isn't it for like scrunchy flowers and it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful right so i am going to put just a little bit of that magenta and just see whether that resists anywhere now look <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. It doesn't matter. I can still use it. But it's not It's not resisting like I thought it would. Okay, well, let's just see. It could be because it's on vellum. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Because what did I do it on? I must have just done it on normal card. I'm sure I did. So just do little bits. Doesn't help that the vellum curls because it makes it a little bit awkward. Do you know, I've got 26 colours and I've just used the th same three colours. Whoa. I really do go a little bit over the top on the cerulean one. hasn't worked has it why hasn't it worked marion 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 don't be defeated well it sort of i can see little bits right let me just i'm gonna go in this way because that wasn't done on that side and i'm just gonna iron that side just to see if that takes off I need to go back and watch my own. See, look, I know these techniques and then I forget them. Who else does that? Oh, okay. Okay, that looks really nice, actually. And you can see it. You can see it's re resisted it in places. Not loads. But I'm going to do that way so it just flattens it out a bit. Or helps it to. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Okay, I can still use that. I can still use that because I can use another bit. I'm just going to try it just on normal cardstock. Did I do it on normal cardstock last time? Now, there's a bit more wax. So let's just do the scrunchy scrunchy. And scrunch it the other way. And let's just, I better have a new, new bit of paper, I suppose. Treat yourself. And then transfer that wax. The thing is, alcohol inks don't really like... Oh, that's probably why i done it. I probably did do it on cardstock before. But then I used the um, the normal, like, either oxides or dye-based inks. Does that transfer? It don't look like it has. Just look at that, though. 
beautiful. Do you know what? No, I can't even feel anything on there. So resist or not, it's irrelevant. But I do like alcohol inks on normal cardstock. Because you look, look, it just goes instantly matte. It just gives a really great effect. Ah, oh, could you see little Christmas trees cut out of this? Look, it just goes matte. It's beautiful. It's lovely. So don't feel like you've got to do it. Like if I if I do those two colours again. No, you really need to use some other colours. Look at that. Oh, do you know what? This is probably picking up bits of the other green that I've got on here because I'm using just old felt. As usual. Has this got much on here already? A little goes such a long way with alcohol ink. Okay, but look at the difference. So this is porous. This is non-porous. Porous meaning um, it will go through. So non-porous is it doesn't penetrate, basically. Okay. Exactly the same. And look at the difference. They're just yum, aren't they? They're really, really beautiful. I love them. This has come out lovely. Do you know what? It feel it still feels it's nah, do you know? I think that's where is that where the white was? I feel like I should have done this so it was a bit deeper. Are you picking up the pattern on there? I can see it perfectly, but I'm just thinking, can you guys? I am gonna have a look. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the iron off. Because I don't like leaving that on. Just turn that off. I'm going to grab um, an embossing folder. So this is the Frilly Peonies. I think I used this one the other day in a video. And I'm just going to... Oh, here I go, making the noises. <laughs> right, let's move these out the way before we have a nasty accident all right don't need all this don't need that i think i think when i'm doing this let's just see what this is gonna emboss like do i want the whole thing oh look at that hopefully so it's just Duplets. Oh no, I don't like that. I think it's only one plate, isn't it? <laughs> my poor old memory. It's absolutely shot my memory. <laughs> oh, look. honestly. Oh, Marion. Right, try your uh, shim. Oh, sorry, I've got my phone plugged in because it kept dying. It's like it's not been a good day today. <laughs> Okay, that's better. So with my standard plate, I've got me shim on there. Now, hopefully that's not been, because sometimes they can be a little bit harsh. Oh, it has, it's cut it. So that's just, oh, you probably can't see it. Oh, look at that. And it, oh, look, see, there's a little bit cut there. And there. Oh, darn. Right, would it do the same for this? Is it because the vellum is so fragile? And I probably could have just done a couple of paper shims. You can feel that it's, you know, sort of tougher to get through. Mm. There's a tiny little bit. Look, aren't they just beautiful? Do you know what? Once that's stuck down, no one will know there's a little 
little hole there and up there. But look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Is it just me? I, honestly, and I just feel like those are the two exactly same, exactly, two exact same alcohol inks. And look at the difference. One on vellum, one on cardstock. It's just, it's just beautiful. I love alcohol ink. I need to play with it a lot more. And I also feel, let me just move that out of the way. Let me just do this on the wax paper. Have I still got? No. Need a little bit. Do, 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 do. Because I'm playing now. I can't. I can't stop. Oh, I wonder though. Oh, I've just had another idea. <laughs> let, let me just do this. And then what, what I was thinking, right, was if... Um, if I was to scrunch up some wax paper, hang on, I just need to whack my iron back on again. Just pop that guy back up again. Right. So I won't do it on here because obviously I've taken the wax off of this. But isn't that nice? That's lovely. Although I wonder if it will work on here. I'm sorry, I, I just, I talked to myself. Um, oh, oh, actually that was, okay. I thought that was all going to spur out and it didn't. So that's good. Oh. <laughs> Apart from there. <laughs> oh, honestly, honestly, honestly. Look at these three colours together. Isn't it interesting how the magenta's changed colour as well? When you saw it. Well, I don't know, it probably hasn't much. I don't know. Oh, it's funny, actually, because I can see the, the resist on there. That's weird. Okay, so my... Well, okay, I've, I've got a feeling all the wax has come off of this now. Now, where's that? I've got some... Add some photo paper. So this is my glossy paper. Let me just see if this is going to work. I'm just going to put that on there. Open that up. And just see whether that will transfer that alcohol ink. But I might have already used all the wax on there. I don't know. I don't know. I just like having a play. Look at that. So it's just picking up really fine lines of it. I am going to do a similar thing. Now, I know I've used the wax on that. So let me just grab. Oh, what have I done with it? Where's me? Oh, there. Honestly. I'm just grabbing more wax paper. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scrunch it up. And I'll, I'll probably use some other colours this time. Because then I'll be able to tell when I... Okay, scrunch it again. Get lots and lots of lines in it. I'm just seeing if I've got any more. Look, I've got a few more foams. Okay. <clears throat> Right, excuse my little cough there. Okie dokie, let's try. This one is yellow. No fancy names, just literally... Oh, oh that's not sticking to me, doodah. Why is... Oh, because I've got... Sorry, I snorted then. <laughs> Honestly. So let me just stick lots and lots of yellow on there. And then I'm going to go back in with a bit more green. Oh, I 
keep doing that. Okay, probably obliterated all that yellow now. Ah, that worked lovely, but I might have had the iron a bit hot because look, this is just, it's Epsom photo paper. But look at that for a background. That looks really cool. I'm gonna, did I try it on normal, on normal card? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm sorry if I'm boring you all now, but I'm in a, I'm in a let's, let's experiment mood. just on normal card you haven't got to have anything fancy got a little bit overzealous there but look at that for a really soft subtle background and that lovely i really like that it's nice forgot which way round it was now but anyway so i have got <laughs> here i go I, I, I don't even know what I want to do. Oh, I need to turn that off. Turn your iron off, Marion, just in case. These, they're just crying out to just be stuck onto a card um, and have a sentiment put on. You know, me usual, whack a sentiment on from me little thing, me tailored expressions, something like that. Beautiful. This, I feel like I'm just going to use some of it. Might just do a circle or something. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, this don't need anything other than a sentiment. I might trim it a little bit just to take that off. That is just lovely. And yeah, it's fine. There's, it's not wet or anything. So I'm so sorry because I can't remember your name, who, the, the last lady who contacted me about this. But please, if you can just do a video, shoot it with your phone, email it over to me. Um, and I will have a look and just see if there's anything obvious that you're not doing or are doing that shouldn't be doing. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, those ones are just sort of like, yeah. And then this, yeah. That one, I think I've got a little wobble in there on this Epsom photo paper. But I think I was a bit too maybe hot, um, hot with the iron. Because it is just photo paper at the end of the day. And then I suppose if I wanted to build up on colours, I wonder if that's too late to then go in and do a little bit more. My iron's probably still hot. It probably won't transfer now. I don't know. We shall see. Nah. Now I'd need to redo it in pink and get this the wax pushing into it, isn't it? But it, and it, it's it's like um it's sort of like a reverse wax resist. <laughs> it's sort of like, I've done it sort of another way round, don't I? But yeah, I am gonna just knock up some cards with these. But I don't know what yet. I, I you know what? I really need to do another video. So I might, I might just keep these as backgrounds ready to use as and when I need them. Do you do that? I, I always think it's a good idea to do that. And I have a little box of them. So, yeah, I might just sort of put a little sentiment across that one because it's just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm probably going to use that... Um, embossing folder again in the next video that i'm gonna do which will be one of my challenge ones i think 
I'm not doing five minute challenge ones anymore because I can't do it in five minutes. <laughs> so a couple of lovely ladies said, just call it a craft challenge. <laughs> so I think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to keep all these bits. I won't show you cards at the end because I've just realised what the time is. I haven't even had any lunch. Look, it's quarter past two and I haven't even eaten anything yet. So I'm going to keep these for a rainy day when I need that card on the hop. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, thank you again to Let's Resin. I really do like your alcohol inks. I think they're lovely. Um, I love the colours, even though I only used a few of them. But yeah, they're just, they're fun. Thank you. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.